Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. I have a haul today, just a very small Dollar Tree haul, and then I have actually three team orders that came pretty close together. Two came together. Um, I've mentioned before, if you do your orders too close together and they haven't shipped out, they'll just hold the first one and ship them out together, which um, I have seen reviews that people say it's taking a long, long time to get their orders. I've gotten stuff from China before, like on Amazon and stuff, and it's taken weeks and a couple of months. And mine always come in less than two weeks, usually closer to 10 days. So I've been really lucky that way. I have not had any complaints. Anyway, um, so I have those. This is actually my second time doing this video. The first one between, <laughs> I was doing it at the end of the day. And when I'm t doing the video, my hair looked fine, but I had my hair up. I was using some of my um, Timu, the little bangs that I had, and then that the messy bun thing. And I had worn that all day and my hair was coming out here and it was like this big bubble. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I couldn't see it when I was doing the video, but when I was watching, it was horrible. And the crinkling of unwrapping everything was really loud. So I unwrapped everything that I could and I've had to write prices down because now since I unwrapped them as I was opening it, you know, uh, I don't know what the prices were. So it might be a little bit combobulated today or discombobulated but it'll be okay. So I'm gonna start with the Dollar Tree. Uh, first thing I got was some of this hummingbird food. Uh, I liked that it said no preservatives or artificial color. I used to buy that red hummingbird food and have clear um, bottles that I put it in. And then I read that that can be toxic to the hummingbirds. So I'm gonna try this. So I got a couple of those. And then they have, I love Hawaii. I haven't been there for a long time, but I love hibiscus. And they had two different colors of a hibiscus garland. Let's see if I can get a flower so you can see it. There we go. That's a pretty pink one. And then they had orange ones, orange and yellow. And I believe they're four feet. Yeah, I got two of each because four feet isn't always long enough. So let me throw these out so I can see what else I've got in here. I've kind of gone crazy on butterflies. You'll see there's like a, sorry, a little crinkling. Uh, there's like a butterfly theme going on. And I saw these at Dollar Tree. They're really pretty and they've got, I don't know if you can see, the top wings are like pushed out further. So it's got quite a bit of a dimension to it. And then they've got those little puffy stickers on the back. So they're really a dimensional type thing. And I thought they were really pretty. The, the gold and the kind of pale pinks and blues, just real subtle compared to any other butterflies I have. So I got some of them. I'm trying to think where to put everything. I also got these like dimensional little stickers, flower stickers. I'm gonna get one out and show you what I mean. We had a, I'm on the board of directors for our local United Way and we had a kids crafting day to make Mother's Day presents yesterday. Wasn't sure if we had enough flowers. So I grabbed, I'm trying to grab this, grabbed these while I was there. They ended up not working for that project very well, but they're really pretty. The colors are great. They've got this like two, two layer effect and then the puffy sticker on the back. So got two sets of those just in case we needed them and now I'll use them. Then I'm always keeping my eyes open for these little flowers because I use them as embellishments on a lot of different things. And they had these really pretty pink ones. I haven't had that color before. And then they had some more of the white ones. And then they had, I've never seen these before. These are hops. Now my neighbor grows hops, they, they climb up their lattice and their fence, it's beautiful. Their flowers are white, so I don't know if they actually come in purple, but the flowers are really cool. They're really puffy and I loved this color. So I got some of those, there was only one, so I can only get one. Uh, then of course, more of my plantain chips. I like these, they give me my crunch because I can't. I'm, I shouldn't have potato chips. Um, I've got that postmenopausal fat going on that I'm trying hard to get rid of, and it's hard. Got a couple of um, health conditions that contribute to that that make it even harder. So these give me that crunch without the sh the um, so much starch. There's uh, six grams of fiber, no sugar, one gram of protein, 19 carbs total. So there's quite a bit of starch, but just not as bad as potato chips. And I don't I don't tend to eat as many of these at one time. They're not super sweet, so I like that. Um, that's all in that sack. Let's see what I've got in this one. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a knitter or a crocheter, 
but I got these to poke holes in styrofoam and because they were pretty blue. Then they had this style of burlap flowers that they didn't have before, so I got that to put in my flower stash. Uh, I love their little laser cut. I mean, they have all kinds of things. They have keys and hearts and insects and all kinds of things. And they had Believe. I love the same Believe. And they're starting to get some of these that are painted. So I like that color, but if I didn't, and there's like uh, three pieces in here, I can always paint it to match any project that I'm doing. And then they have, I love their chenille yarn. I like to use it for whatever. And um, a lot of times we use it as trim on our gnomes. I haven't tried to make a tassel, but I bet it would make a cool tassel. And they had this gray that I've not seen before. So even though I probably won't be using gray until January, you know what, Dollar Tree? Yeah, get it when you see it, right? <laughs> and then last but not, oh, no, no, two things. Then I got these little pins. They're almost like a pearlized color, and they were really pretty, and I thought they would be great for some of the crafts. One of the crafts we're going to do later this year um, are button Christmas trees, and you can use these to put in the holes of the buttons and just really like make it look like ornaments. And the last thing, which I do not need any more coffee cups. They won't fit in my cupboard, but I can use this one in my craft room because I do have another, I think it has seahorses on it. And I just thought this was so cool. It's got my favorite sand dollars. It's got a, it almost looks like a Florida conch. I don't know for sure if it is. And um, starfish, and then it's got little starfish inside. So I only got one because I don't need any, but this will be cute. I was looking for something to put my paintbrushes in. So that's it for Dollar Tree. And don't throw that on the floor, Karen. Just a sec, I need to wet my whistle. Look at this, I got this at the thrift store the other day. I love big mugs that you can put your hands around, especially in the winter. This is a new product I'm trying from Avini Health. It's supposed to help with weight loss. There's three different flavors, flavors matcha, chocolate, and coffee. And I did the coffee and just added some chocolate mint flavoring of my own. So we'll see. If I start looking skinny, you'll know it's working. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, let me go to my first Timu order. Now, I have to say, Timu knows how to market. I mean, they are crazy good at marketing. You do one order. If you haven't ordered from Timu before, it's timu.com, T-E-M-U. And um, it does come from China, which I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure about that. But anyway, for right now, I'm, I'm doing it. Um, but they, you do your order, and then you'll get, you get like an email or two every day. I can't talk. Me, 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 me. <laughs> One of those days. Maybe it's the caffeine in that drink. Um, you'll get one or two emails a day. A lot of times it's, hey, we since you liked this before, we thought you might like to look at these. Or they'll do, hey, you've got a free gift. And sometimes I get this, um, you've got three gifts. And so that's what I, I just did an order that'll be here in a couple of weeks. I'm kind of excited about that one because one of the things I'm getting is a silicone mold that looks like those little Dollar Tree shoes that we used to make gnome shoes and feet. So I'm really excited because I can't find those in our area very often. I still have a stash, but with workshops, you never know how fast you go through them. But anyway, um, I got <laughs> six cents credit, um, a whole slew of things that I could get for $1.98. I just to see how many there would be, and I wasn't busy. I scrolled through. I bet it took me off and on maybe an hour. There were so many. And then I got a $15 um, rebate if you spent this much, and then $30 if you spent even more, and I did the 30 I didn't realize I was ordering that much. <laughs> but anyway, they just, they really know how to promote themselves. So Anyway, this is my first order. Let me grab the, oh, the first thing is this shirt. Let me back up so you can see. It says Just Breathe and it's got dandelion. I love dandelions. Not necessarily in my yard, but I do like the look of them. And then, oh, I got to reach back here and get all this other stuff. Oh, God. I have a, kind of a small space here to put things in. Easier here in my office than in my craft room. I'd had to move five different projects. Okay. So I got that. Then I got, hopefully my son doesn't see this because he's getting it for Father's Day. He'll probably get it early because we're going over there in May. But a t-shirt, it says, um, work for God. The retirement benefits are great. 
and we'll, I hope it fits. Um, it's a 2X, which is what he's a, he's a big, big, strong guy. Um, and that's usually what he wears. I have found that things seem to be true to size, but you never know. Okay, so there's that. Let me put it over here. Then I have been seeing these shirts. They come in different colors, and I actually got two different colors. They're long sleeve. I wasn't sure. I have I have a condition, actually a couple of conditions that aren't debilitating or anything, but they do affect how my skin reacts to things. This feels a little rough, but it, not like it's going to be uncomfortable, but sometimes I simply can't tolerate it. Um, but it's long sleeved and then it's got, if I can hold this up so you can see it, those little flowers down there, which I love flowers. So I thought that might be kind of cute. It might be really cute when we go out to the lake to just have when I need something, you know, when it starts cooling off a little bit or when we're moving the boat around, it's kind of cool. Okay. And then hopefully my husband doesn't watch this because this one's for him. He is a fix-it guy. In fact, he, he really toys with the idea when he retires of doing a hire a husband business. I think I've mentioned that before where he goes, just goes and, and fixes things. But I said, you know, hmm, in this day and age, hire a husband might get another connotation. So we're not going there. But anyway, this says, um, that's what I do. I fix stuff and I know things. If I can get it so you can see it. There we go. And he, he usually wears a large. Uh, this looks kind of big, but then half the time I think something looks really big. And I put it on, it fits perfectly. So that's depressing sometimes, but okay. Then I love to use the silicone molds. Sometimes I fill them with a glue gun. And sometimes I use clay. Um, I like the clay better in a lot of ways because it's really hard. For, I have, I guess I'm getting arthritis. I don't have deformity or anything, but it's, my hands hurt when I press too hard. And trying to get enough glue out at one time with the glue gun is kind of a pain. Um, haven't tried air dry clay with this type of mold before, so we'll see. But these are just like Victorian little swirls and things like that that I thought would be kind of cool to make and then put on, I like to do jars or boxes or things and decorate them up and this would give them some really cool added dimension. Oh, I've been forgetting to tell you the prices. Okay, so the shirt I have on was $7.09. The um, Work for God shirt was $6.69 and they're, they're good quality. I mean, I don't see any difference than what I get locally. My white blouse was $13.04 and my hubby's shirt was $5.58. These molds were $6.78. So um, I had thought of something I was going to say, and now I don't remember what it was. Oh, um, I for some reason, I am not able or haven't been able to put the links to all of these in the description box. They come out all garbled no matter what I do, and I've done stuff like that before, so I don't know what the issue is. But I do want to say, when you go on to Timu, um, like what I paid this time might not be the same price. It could be more, it could be less. They could be out of stock. They always give you the option to let me know at when it's back in stock or look at similar items. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, then the next thing I got was, um, I'm the gnome lady. We do gnome workshops and stuff, shops, workshops. And so I saw this. This is on either end of the table runner and then um, like a, a flag type design. And it's, I mean, when I hold it out, it is the, I mean, I can't even spread my, my arms long enough. This is really long. I don't think it even said how long it was. Oh yeah, 72 inches long, 13 inches wide and 72 inches long. So huge. I have a little buffet at, right inside my front door and it'll, it'll go all the way across and then hang down on both sides, which will be kind of cool. Okay. And then the next thing, I didn't take this out of the thing because you can see this was 69 cents. And it's just another silicone mold with little like daisies. So cute. I'll show you the picture when they show them when they're painted. Whoops. Super cute. Okay. And then, whoops. Oh, and the day I said 69. Okay. And then there's a little rose. I thought that was really pretty. And it was $1.19. And then, oh, these earrings. They were only 71 cents. I don't know. If I can't get it to focus well enough for you to see, I will put a picture at the end of the video. But they're little hummingbirds. I don't think I can get it closer. 
Maybe. My my one grandma, my dad's mom, loved hummingbirds, and I always think of hummingbirds when I see here. In fact, both of my grandmas did, but she really, and when she was um, bedridden at the last year or so of her life, she, her bed was by the door, and she was able to look out, and I'm lucky if I get a couple of hummingbirds. She was in California, and she had, I think, a hundred hummingbirds all over the yard feeding from the feeders. It was really cool. Okay, and then there's a little dress. I will... If I try these on and they look okay, I'll take a picture. Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes in the pictures it looks like they're a little bit fuller or like gathered here, which camouflages the tummy. But this is a paisley, it's a short sleeve paisley dress. I'll hold it up so you can see the bottom. So, like I say, if I don't look absolutely hideous, because I don't want someone to think, oh, that's an ugly dress, just because it's not fitting my body right now. Um, I will put a picture at the end. And then, oh, the last thing, I gotta get around here to get it. Right now I'm doing, well, I was doing lemon all over my whole house. And then I decided to do um, a beach theme in my breakfast nook. But I still have, I had purchased a little uh, mat to put in front of my sink. It was a, a lemon. It's a little bit smaller than the ones I've had before, but it's still cute and it, it's very durable. But I decided to get this because when I'm not doing a seasonal theme, I have like a farmhouse theme and I have chickens and roosters and stuff like that. So this thing is, I think, four feet, if I remember. Let's see if it says here. No. But I don't know if I was showing it so you could see it. It's hard to see the phone and hold this up at the same time. But anyway, I can I have to put something on it so it because it comes folded up and get the wrinkles out. But look at the little chickies. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. So that'll be fun. Okay, let me see. That was the end of one of the orders. Now let me see where the next order is. <laughs> I think get kind of creative. Okay, let me reach over here. Let's see, I've already shown you that. Okay, so I just ordered a pack of these clamps. There are 12 of them, and they were $3.98. Couldn't find clamps at my Dollar Tree, so I ordered these, and then they had them at Dollar Tree, so I actually just bought some more. So I'll have plenty, no matter how big my project is. Oh, and then these pants. I don't like to spend a lot of money right now because I'm hoping that I'll be able to get back into my my normal size and this isn't my new normal. Um, so when I see something that's fairly inexpensive, I like to get them. Um, and these were $9.88. They're, um, what are they made out of? Spandex and nylon. And I got a size large. I used to be a small. I used to be a zero. <laughs> Not too long ago. Um, these are really cute. I put them on last night and they're very comfortable. They were actually the right length half the time. Like I, the ones I have on right now, I got from Walmart and they're too long, but am I, am I going to hem them? Probably not. Um, but I love these because they have a little pocket and they were super comfortable. Um, I don't know if I'll model them because the, the top part is more like leggings. I'll see if I have a long shirt to put with them and they're a little too tight up at the top. They don't look fantastic but if I have a long shirt they'll be fine but super comfortable in fact so comfortable that I might even order a couple of different colors because with something like this I mean I had a pair of black similar kind of things that I used to wear that even when I was a really small size I could wear them and they looked good and then they they expanded enough that they looked okay when I was larger um and I think these are kind of like that okay pants. I'm rambling today. Sorry. Then I always have these. We have a, a gas range and I always have these to put around the burners because when grease gets on the stove itself, sometimes it's kind of hard to get off if you don't do it right away. And especially, you know, some days we just don't get the, the stove cleaned right away and they work okay. But you know, if they have a spark or something, they'll get discolored. And so I needed some new ones. These were like a dollar twenty nine, way less than I usually pay, so I couldn't pass those up. Okay, and then the next thing I can't I can't find. It's here somewhere because I did see it last night. But I got some of those little things that look like keys, and you wind your toothpaste up, 
and they were, um, where is it? A dollar, no, 38 cents, 38 cents. So I got two. Then I got these knee pads for when I'm gardening. Pretty durable, they Velcro on. Um, usually I have one of those gardening mats and um, with my advancing ages, I'll be 66 next month in like two weeks. I can't believe it, but my knees don't like me kneeling <laughs> very much. So I'll sit on the mat or even kneel on the mat. And then when I go to move, it, I don't know, it's just a pain. So I thought these might be cool. I can kneel on them and not have to worry about scooting them with me. I don't know if that even made sense. Okay, and then I got these little things. They were $2.78 and you get, I have a bunch, but they're sticky traps to catch those little gnat, little fruit fly things. I don't have a problem with them too often, um, but like in the fall when I bring my plants in, sometimes they bring those in or if you have fruit sitting on the counter too long. So I thought, well, I'll try these. Doesn't hurt. Um, then the next thing, I'll show you a little video of it at the end. I got some little, they're like tube things that one end fits over your seat belt and you put it between your car seat and the console. You know how you're always, well, I don't know about you, but I'm dropping stuff down there. And it's a pain to try to get it out because it's just a little bit too narrow for my hands. The, the car seat doesn't move to get it easily. And especially when it's like money or your cell phone, it's a pain. So I did get them, they're $1.88. I got a color that's not great for my car. They were out of gray. So I got brown, cause I figured we can use that in one of the other vehicles um, and put them in. So I'll show you what it looks like. And it's, I mean, the brown with my gray seat doesn't look super great, but um, I think it's gonna work to make that problem go away. Okay, next thing is this little guy and it's sticky here. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to go back and look and see if you get replacement stickies. But it's a neck massager and you just put it on your neck. What I have noticed is sometimes the, the sticky part doesn't stick at the curve of your neck. I'm not gonna start it now. Oops, oh, God. Well, there we go. Now the hair is a mess. Um, because when it does start, it <laughs> makes me startle. And it, I, I do use it when I'm sitting in a chair because it, the sticky isn't super sticky, so it doesn't always, if you're moving around, stay there. But I did it last night and had my husband start it for me because of course I can't tell which buttons I'm pushing, which could be dangerous because it has several levels. Um, and my husband started it for me last night, and man, did it work! It was, and it was only two seventy eight, right? Did I say that? Yeah, two fifty eight. So, anyway, okay. Next thing is I just got a garden net. It's just a green net. Not sure if I'm going to put it over some of my vegetables to keep the birds out or even my um, raspberries. There's enough raspberries to share with them, though. <laughs> or if I'm going to try to rig something up. We have, we're in Montana, and we have mule deer that live in town, and they're almost tame, fairly, fairly tame. Uh, for the people that actually feed them, they're really tame. But deer have ticks and all kinds of things. So you really don't want to pet them or get that close to them, nor do you want your animals to. It's not good when they get in the yard. Our animals are confined to the backyard, so they're not getting the ticks and things, but I mean, they do pick up bugs from the bunnies sometimes. Um, but anyway, we can't plant flowers. They, they, they used to not eat marigolds. Now they're eating the marigolds. So it's really hard to find plants that they won't eat. And I'd love to have beautiful flowers in my front yard. So I might see if I can rig this up somehow. I don't really, really want to put wire fences around everything in the front because, I don't know, that just doesn't look as good. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, what else? Um, oh, these are fun. I have a few sunflower things out now just because I love the color yellow in the springtime. But in the fall, I really bring them. So I thought these might be cute for my tiered trays and my little shelves. They're little wooden cutouts and they're they're really pretty. Uh, of course, you have to have a few gnomes. And that one cool, and a little vase, a little butterfly. In fact, I have, um, I used to have a business, a nail business called Sunflower Nails, um, Copper Sunflower Nails. I knew that wasn't right. So I've got sunflowers all over my office. You may, 
I don't think you see, well, you see one I painted back there, but here's another gnome. And I like that little bug. And another gnome, a watering can, and then a basket of flowers. So those are really going to be fun. And they come with some jute strings. So if you did want to hang them, sometimes I leave my, we have a little miniature Christmas tree and sometimes I leave that up all year and they would be cute to do for summer, but I put it away this year. Okay. And then they call these magic erasers. I don't think they have the chemicals and things like the Mr. Clean ones do. I hope not because I'm actually getting these for crafting. They're, there's one. So they're that big and that big. Oh yeah. Um, we do, silk screen transfers with chalk paste and what we get from the company looks just like this uh, kind of like it not quite but and that's what we used to get the chalk paste off and it, it works the best of anything to get all that off so I thought I would try these if they don't work for that I'll put them under my sink and we'll use them for cleaning I've got something itching um oh then this dress this dress I did try it on last night and in the picture it looked like it was kind of gathered right under the bodice a little bit, which would make it kind of flow out, which I can do with like a rubber band and a button or something. But um, I usually wear like a short sleeved t-shirt or something like that under spaghetti straps. Cause at this age, I mean, I try to cover my arms as much as I can, but it's kind of cute. Last night when I put it on the way it is, it was a little bit too shapeless on me but I know I can fix that. So I'll take a picture if I can get that part to work. I just don't have enough of the right kind of curves to have a dress like this look really good if it doesn't have some kind of structure to it itself. Okay. Oh, and then I got, where are they? I got a little set. Let me take them out of this. I got a little set of earplugs. Pretty color, huh? Um, I have a weird thing with my hearing. Does anyone else have this? I used to think I had a hearing loss and needed a hearing aid because I, if I was in a group or any in a noisy environment, even if it wasn't that noisy, even if someone was standing right in front of me, I, I had to read their lips as much as I could because I couldn't hear their voices. I had my hearing tested and the lady said, no, you don't have a hearing loss or a hearing problem. What you have is the way your ears are, the frequency or whatever, I don't, I don't know the terms, um, for background noise of any kind, whether it's people talking or whatever, that is so loud for you. It's like off the chart, she said. It's so loud that it it drowns anything else out. So, um, I mean, it's, it's bizarre. I mean, my husband can be in the kitchen, I'm in the next room, and he's like opening like a grocery bag. And it is almost excruciating. It's so loud. So, I got these. I have another set that kind of, I don't, they, they um, take the edge off the sound, but you can still hear everything. They make it not quite so painful. Like it's not really pain, but, but I thought, you know, sometimes that's not enough. So I got these. Also, I should probably get him some too, because you know, both of us snore <laughs> at this age. Didn't used to, I don't think. Okay. Then I got this really pretty rose garland. I don't know if I'll use it as a garland or if I'll just use the roses, but aren't those pretty? Loved the color. And it was, oh, I keep forgetting. Let's see, the, I showed you the massager. Those wood cutouts were $378. The magic erasers were $1.79 for $30. Really good price. The feather dress was $11.78. The earplugs, $1.59. And this was $1.58. And then the last thing I got in that order, I love peonies. And these are little baby peonies because my peony flowers get big. But these were, um, oh, wait, I have three sets of these. So I think I got the wrong because these look more orange. Um, the light pink ones were $2.38. Some of the others were cheaper. And I think these were some of the others. But I'll tell you the prices as I get to them on my sheet. I hope I'm not rambling too much today. I feel kind of rambly okay oh now let me grab the last one got to get up and get some of the stuff okay Let's get it organized here all right so 
Where am I gonna put these till I need them? Okay. So I, I told you there was a butterfly theme. My hair has gotten crazy with all the flipping around I'm doing. Sorry, I had to leave these in their little container and they, they got stuck together. Okay, so these are called Random, cutter, cut, random Color Luminous. I don't know exactly what the luminous is, but they have a plastic body and then the little butterfly wings. They're really pretty. I will, I'll just kind of hold up three at a time so we don't have to... Whoops. They come with little stickers so you can stick them on things. And then here's the last three. All right, I'm gonna have to put these back in their little bag, so excuse the crinkle. Otherwise, they're gonna get lost in all of this. Kind of like my toothpaste thing did. Come on. And the little stickers. All right, let's put this over here. Then I got, those were, yeah, where did I put my paper? Oh yeah, here it is, 208 for those. And these are 12 pieces colorful silver butterfly stickers. And I'm not, oh yeah, they've got little sticky things to put on them, but they're almost like a metallic. I don't think that's what they are, but they're very shiny, kind of iridescent. And there's three different, two different sizes. So I don't know what I'll do with them, but they're kind of cool to have in my stash. All right, I'm gonna try to not knock those off and not stick them back in. And then one more set of butterflies, and these are called double layer. On the package, it says mixed color butterfly. On the invoice, it says double layer, and then it doesn't print it out. So anyway, they are pretty dang similar to those first ones. Oh, I see. Double layer, hello. So they have little wings to give them a little bit of dimensions. Otherwise, they're very similar to the first set. So several different colors, and they were a dollar eight. Not bad. We, we don't have a lot of places to buy crafting supplies where I live. Um, the nearest Dollar Tree is half an hour away, which isn't too bad, but, um, and we have a Joann's, but they don't have a whole lot of crafting supplies like I use. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, those kind of places are at least two hours away. So I like to find things when I don't have to drive, drive, travel or drive so far. Okay, um, then I don't know if this one's going to work and I'm not quite sure yet what's going on here, but it's a, a little straw hat that I'm hoping to use on my little girl gnome that I'm going to be making, but it's like almost big enough for me. So I don't know if it'll fit her. And I'm not really sure what all this is. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't played with it. I don't know. We'll see. I may be finding a little girl to wear it. And that was more expensive. It was $4.04. Okay, then I wanted to have some, I make like little teddy bears or uh, rag dolls, things like that once in a while. Not a lot, but I wanted to have some eyes on sale on sale, on hand, oh, one of those days. So I got these, these are six millimeter. There are 50 pieces in here. They've got like the, the little round part is the eyeball and then the little screw is gonna be the, the pupil of the eye. So I don't know how, I don't know how to try those. And I got another size of the same thing. Those were 98 cents. I figured, you know, I could try it for that price. These are 18 millimeters. They were $1.28, same thing. They had a couple of other sizes, but I thought, oh, I, my hair just tickled me. Thought I would try those before I order other sizes. And then they had these that they're almost creepy because they really look like eyeballs. Oops. Okay. If I can get them, can you see any of them? There's pink, there's two colors of brown and two colors of blue. They were a little more expensive. They were $5.98 and you get a hundred pieces. So 100 or 50 sets of eyes. Okay, then we're almost done. Oh, then where'd it go? Oh, something keeps tickling me. Then there's a blue version of that one shirt that I showed you. I'm gonna try to get it so I can, you can see. It looks like even almost the same floral pattern, not quite. 
but same thing. Um, I think it'll be really cute, like with some jeans or even with a pair of white pants and the, the buttons are all multicolored. So it's just kind of fun. And that was $14.49. And then let's grab the flowers. I've got some more peonies. I wanted to make like a big, well, it's all tucked into that straw hat. Ah. Okay. So I got... This one is pink with little purple trim on the edges, and this one is, I think they called it, I have an orange one. This is a pink, I think one fell off. Oh, here it is. This is the orange or coral one. So um, the white one I showed you earlier was the wrong, I don't know what is tickling my nose. 248, the orange one is $1.98, and the pink one was $1.78. So really good prices. And then the last thing is what I am wearing on my head. And I think it's what's making me tickle because I think there's a long piece that's hanging down. But this is called short curly hair hair piece. It was $9.89 and it's not actually a wig. You put it on over. I mean, I've got my hair sticking out here and it has a clip here and a clip here to hold it in. It just adds a little bit of fullness up here. Um, and I'm just kind of messing with the bangs a little they they can come out like this but I don't like that so so let me know what you think I mean I am used to having curly hair had curly hair all my life and then I would get perms I have very thin very fine hair I would get perms just to give me some volume and so I and my my hair has kind of lost its curl um so I thought this would be kind of fun and I I use something like this like if if I'm needing to wash my hair, it gets really flat. So this can just puff it up if I don't have time to wash it and I just need to be out the door. So just trying to find some of those kinds of things to make my life easier. Yesterday, I wore the little clip-on bangs and the messy bun. And it looked really cute. And people think it's my hair. I mean, they can't tell that I, it's a, a wig. So anyway, I think that was it. We're done. Thank you. If you made it all this way, thank you. And thank you to my subscribers. I don't think I remembered to say it at the beginning, um, but I really appreciate your subscribing and helping me grow my channel. I would really love it if you would make comments. Let me know what you think about things. Um, even just do this. All those kinds of things help the channel a lot. And we're just a baby growing slowly but surely. And I, I just really appreciate all your help. So have a great one and I will talk to you later. Bye. So here are the doodads for the car. Um, they didn't have gray ones and so I just got brown ones. I'll keep watching if I like them and get the gray ones when they come back in stock. But they fit pretty well. Um, I don't know how, how well they'll stay in. They're not what I would call super attractive, but if I had the gray ones and they blended in, I think it would be better. Um, these will blend in well in the truck. So all for the price, not bad. Okay, so here's the first dress. I didn't have a little t-shirt handy, so I just took a paper clip to pull this up. Um, I put uh, a button on the outside and then a rubber band around the button, and that's what makes this little, what do you call this? I can't remember, tell me if you know. Um, and I don't know if you can see if I go all the way back. But just doing that made a huge difference. I'll take it off real quick and you can see. Not super quick because it was a long rubber band. There we go. I just don't, I don't like it as much without that. I just needed that little bit of gathering here since this is, and I'll tell you, <laughs> that stuff I was drinking, it's it's a good company, great, great quality but a lot of times my body cannot handle caffeine. And right now, look at that. It My belly just went poof, just like a few minutes ago and I got really nauseated. So not gonna be able to use at least that flavor of it. We'll see. Could be the day. Some days I can handle it, some days I can't. There's like iced tea at one of our fast food restaurants here. I can handle the other one. Must be a different kind and I can't handle it. So that's just me. So right now I'm really poofy here, so it makes a difference. But I definitely like it better with a little bit of smock smocking. Is that what it is here? But all right, so I'm gonna go on to the next thing. All right, here's the paisley dress. I think I said short sleeved before, but it's sleeveless. And my dog is right behind me. He's 
deaf and blind. Move, baby. Move. And he has to be right by me. So this is cute as it is. I think I would even like it better if I did that little bit of gathering here. But really cute. I love to throw on just a simple dress in the summer when it's hot. It's just so much cooler. And I love the fabric of both of these dresses. It's very soft. Um, so I'm pleased. This isn't... Uh, I don't remember if it's a large or an extra large. I kind of go back and forth. I think I got all extra larges this time. With my next order, I ordered some larges just to see the difference and hoping that I'm going to be skinnier by then. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back with the next outfit. Okay, here's the first shirt. I got this in an extra large. This I probably could have gotten away with a large. I have really short arms and definitely the sleeves are made for someone bigger, but I usually roll my sleeves up like this anyway. Um, one thing that I do notice, I don't like this kind of a collar. For one thing, I can make up on it, but I can just fold this over and other than that, I think it's really cute. And that fabric is fine on my skin. It's not super rough. It's just probably for anybody else. It's almost like a, oh, not seersucker. I don't know what, but it's a nice length. It covers up the parts that I want to cover up and it is big enough here that it can camouflage the belly. So I like that. Let me just put the, the blue one on real quick since they're the same. I think I got them in the same size. Let me see. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. I should have gotten one in a large and one in an extra large. I Oh, I didn't show you the back. The back has kind of a little... I like that detail there. So yeah, same thing here. I would just roll up the sleeves, put this down a little bit. I mean, I can't handle things on my neck like that, like even a choker. So I will definitely do something here, but I like the length. It's very nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Oh, here comes my dog. <laughs> so these are the pants. They're a size large and they fit like a size large would. Um, sorry for the lighting. I can't find a place in our house with a good mirror that's well lit. It looks nice in person, but on the camera, not quite so much. So they're even the right length. They're not way too long. So I'm very pleased with this purchase. They're very comfortable. And even though I have those skin issues, these are very soft and they feel great.